Alright guys, Chris here from Chris Fishing TV. Today I'm going to show you how to put line on your bait casting rod. Uh, as you can see here, I have the uh, bottom half of my Abu Garcia Vendetta. This is the 6'6 six six medium heavy rod and uh, the line's going to be going onto my Abu Garcia Black Max reel. Today I'll be using Trilene XT 10 pound monofilament fishing line. In order to spool line the way I'm about to show you, you will need a screwdriver with a pretty long neck, a multi-tool that has pliers, your line, and a small cardboard box. If you have another person helping you, you do not need to do this. However, if you're alone like I am, this will help you a lot. What I create here is something to hold the line while we spool it onto our rod. All this involves is getting your spool, poking a hole in the side of the cardboard box with a screwdriver, putting it through the hole in the spool, and simply puncturing the other side of the cardboard box. As you can see, we've created an axle for the spool to spin on, and this will hold the spool while we're putting the line onto our bait caster. The first step is to thread the line through the first guide on your As rod. As you can see here up close, I'm gonna thread the line through the guide and the reel. And tie it around the spool. If you're having trouble doing this and you have a reel like mine, which has holes on the spool, a good trick is to get the line, put it into one of the holes, and then just give your reel a crank. This will bring the line back around as you see here, allowing you to tie a knot easily. When I put line on all of my reels, I normally use a simple overhand knot. This is typically enough to keep the line on the reel while I'm reeling it in. After you've secured the line to your reel, it's time to cut the tag with your multi-tool. Now you can start to reel slowly, and the reel will start to spool line onto the rod. In order to ensure a consistent reel, you need to put your finger on the line and continue to reel slowly. As you can see, with this added resistance, the reel is putting the line on in a consistent fashion. Once you're satisfied with the amount of line on your reel, simply cut the line, go catch a fish. Guys, I hope I helped you learn how to put line on your bait casting reel. Again, this was Chris from Chris Fishing TV. Uh, I'd like to thank all those people who have subscribed uh, the past few days. It's really helped me uh, start out this channel. And uh, for those of you who haven't yet, uh, go ahead and click subscribe and uh, share my videos. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching.